Hi everybody, so I'm going to do a resin scroll saw mix. I'm putting a 10 mil, 10 millimeter depth border all the way around with the foam board. Okay, so this is the stuff I'm going to use today and, and a big shout out to these guys, MB Fiberglass. I use their OptiCast and I showed them a video that I did and um, they sent this stuff through the post free of charge and so I'm they didn't ask me to do you know a, a review of it or anything like that um, but I'm gonna try it and see what it's like so I've got this now it's a piece of perspex clear perspex and I've put that 10 mil 10 millimeter border all the way around and I'm gonna fill this to about 5 mil to where this uh, line is yeah 200 grams of A in there now I'm going to put a hundred grams of B. Now there's a pot life on this of 30 minutes, so that's not too bad. So let's just pour this in. Right, that's about five mil deep. It's all looking a bit messy really. There's some strange oh that looks, looks actually quite good that. Okay, let's get this pressure pot. So today I've released this um, from the uh, Perspex and it come off, I, I really wish I'd got it on camera but it, anyway I just slit, I put a, a knife, I put a knife down inside here, tweaked it and it just popped out so it's brilliant. Um, not This is the, let's say the top side, this is from this side I poured in, there's a kind of mottled effect on the surface don't know why that is I'm not quite sure but um, on this side it's beautiful and uh, smooth because it was against the the perspex so that's going to be the hero side here okay let's get the pattern on here I prefer using um, this stuff here. Okay, everybody. So here it. Uh, this is the the not so good side, the mottly side. So I've put tape on the other side. I've squared this up, put the uh, pattern roughly around the middle. Um, I've glued that down using the uh, the prit stick, and um, I'm just going to drill the holes through here now, and then cut this out. Trying to keep my hands out of the way. Does cut nice. Uh, just a couple of details. This is a two stroke zero R um, Olsen blade. That's that one. So here it is, straight off the scroll saw. Um, I'm gonna take the take the tape off now. 
One of my favourite parts of the uh, scroll saw work is uh, the kind of reveal. Um, so uh, you just have to be careful around the very delicate parts because sometimes they can come off, especially in wood. I like the way the, the frame has turned out in this kind of colour. I would love to have had this kind of goldy browny up the top here and more blue here. Hey everybody, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. It's um this, it was a nice project. The uh cut edges have cleaned up nice with just some uh, methylated spirits. That's old stuff. Um that would be better. I did that with a bit of tissue and a scribe getting into all the nooks and crannies, but um, you know, cotton buds would be brilliant for that. It's okay, I just uh, you know, it's my first time doing the colouring and um, you know, that kind of laying this perspex on top of the pattern and trying to get the colours. Next time I'll get it better. This would all have been blue um, and the colour in the dark. But, you know, it's a little bit abstracty, but it's um, it's okay. It's kind of quite pleasant, really. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.